Okay, first one was too long. Second one got cut off because there wasn't enough storage on my phone because I made the first one too long. Let's go back to you. Oh, well, I was looking at yours and that's awesome that you have the immunity card and the turn delay and the revive relic. So you're like set. The only thing I was recommending was finding a 400% leadership bonus but then that has to coincide with the other two guys on your deck because these aren't commanders or slayers, so they don't get a boost. But the next two cards that you do, do. And you're using um, Earth Commander, which is great because then you've got two more Earth Commanders. And she gives you four fours. I think the, gosh, the best team for you would be her plus a burka, plus the two that you have. When you have four fours on the, oh, six turn cooldown. So are you one of these people that are on the first card for a while chipping away and the immunity plus the turn delay allows you to do that? That's great for building up the intensity you need for these guys, but I was recommending replacing one of your gurus with Hansel because he puts down 50 gems and since neither of them are empowered and he's newer so he's got better stats anyway um, he'd power up your your turn delay and your immunity card every three turns I know it says two but I use a three turn cycle on mine um and I use Evelyn as my leader because she's got the 400 GVG attack bonus and she creates power gems and she's a nuke a bit. She ships off of them, doesn't, she will kill the smaller dudes, but him, if you have him, I'll go back and look, with four fours on the board, he gives you 10 twos, which is awesome and healing, which we're not really worried about, I don't think. Except I guess you do get hit sometimes. Or would you die? I die if I get hit. But we both have a revive relic so we can survive the first one. He increases his own attack for 75%, which is pretty great. And because he's a warden, he's got a 9 time fear dispel, which is handy sometimes. Ballora is an old as crap card, but she's a gem destroyer. You have a better Earth Gem Destroyer, if I'm not mistaken. I use a different system than you do. I don't know if you've already seen me use this. Um, and I did buy in heavily because my birthday is four days before Christmas. So I got three Spirit Relics. I enchanted one and I made one a UF. Um, which really only matters because of Beast Killer and skill points. But I get a Power Gem 3 from him regardless and every time I get the relic and the orbs of XP pack I try to throw another one on one of these somewhere usually my giant relic because it gives you a power gem 4 at the beginning um, so that's mine I've got turn delay plus gem fall and then I've got leadership boost and then I've got a gem destroyer on the end there and a PG spawner. So my hits are pretty big because of him being awakened three times and her being awakened twice. I still die, my health is insane, but the people I'm attacking hit hard. Yours is awesome also. You've got your revive relic and you only have one. They did a revive pack on this because I've seen people use like three of them. Um, who's your biggest damage output? I'm assuming her 6.6. .6, yep. And she's honored, which goes with this one. Honored. Yep. And then you've got another, oh, what is this? Oh, Amy's sword, right. I canceled VIP before my year. Okay. So she gives you three gems, earth gems. That's it. 
and an 11 KTAC. I would think you might be better off using an Honored or a God booster. Because otherwise you're just getting... Hmm. How many Earth Relics do you have? You have four. So you could put any affinity in the first slot on the left and have it turned into green by the time you got to your last one. So... I would use Honored Intensity. Who do you have? Yeah, you've got one of these at 32. Oh, Power Gem 1 and a 1463. Your four Fire Gems would be converted to Earth by your other relics. This one gives you a Power Gem 2, which is better than a 1. Buzzsaw gives you a 2. I always get lucky in Dark Commander. I always get duplicate relics. It's great. So I would recommend the higher power gem creator, either Matriarch or Buzzsaw instead of Amy, but that's up to you. And then I'd replace one of the gurus with Hansel and either keep the other guru and no, I would replace the other guru with somebody who gets you a relic and does something else for you because Gemfall is covering your two left guys. They're getting filled. You want someone in the center who's a 400% GVG bonus. And again, let's see, do you have a Burka? If you paired her with a Burka, no. Oh, wait, you have Seder. Okay. So if you get four fours on the board, which your leader card does right now, he's going to put down ten ones, which is pretty great, and heal. And he also increases his own attack. Does absolutely not dispel counter attack, but that's okay. And then, let's see, Hansel, of course, 50 gems every two turns, fills up your guys. Does not dispel dodge. Okay, so Seder plus your current leader card plus Hansel in place of the two gurus. Wait, Seder and, yeah, her, Seder, Hansel. You've already got your Spiric Relics up there. I would say swap Amy out for an Honored Booster or a Corrupt Booster, which is Hansel or Seder's a Giant. If you've got... Do you have that Giant Relic? I love it because it puts a four on the board. Yeah, you do. Oh, you've got two of them. Sweet, dude. So if you put Seder, you'd have two awesome relics right here. They put, you'd have two fours for your first go and every three turns or whatever. Whenever you have 12 on the board, you get twos. That's double. Oh, I'm so excited for you to try this. Okay. Seder, these two relics. Hansel, his sweet tooth. Okay, wait, because, yeah, God was... Okay, so you'd use this, which you already have up there, because it's honored, right? Ancient. Wrong one. The other flower. Oh, ta -ta -ta -ta. You'd lose Coco Pelli's mask. Um, and you don't have Dojin's axe up here. You've got a three, a four star. If you could get one of those to uh, five star level, that would be great. Or six would be better, of course. But that helps fill in the gaps when you don't have a relic. So you lose Coco Pelli's relic. Fable. 
Mm -mm. What are you working with again? Honored God God. But you'd be working with honored, corrupt, and giant. So you would keep this one, this one, and then replace these two with your two giant relics, and then Seder and Hansel. And I think that would be an awesome deck. The only thing I... I don't know if you have one that gives you four fours and a 400% bonus, but that would be ideal. But that's just my take on things. Have fun. Try that out. Practice mode.